Hello, welcome to a new video in the FiltrK Rust series. Um, this video will be demystifying tabs. So here I have a simple FiltrK application. We only instantiate a window. We show it and we run the app. I also have in my cargo toml a uh, the FiltrK uh, version that we're using. I'm also using the FiltrK bundled feature. Um, if your uh, there is no bundle for your operating system, you can remove this and it will build FLTK from source. So currently the supported uh, bundles that are there are Linux x64 and ARM64, macOS x64 and ARM64, Windows x64 on both MSVC and GNU. So just run the build. So the topics today that we're going to discuss are tab layouts, closable tabs, and overflowing tabs. So I'll just change this to 400. And let's add a tab. Since tabs implement the group uh, trait, we have to call end on them. So if we run this, you won't see anything. To actually see tabs, you need to fill them with group widgets or anything implementing the group trait. So for example, let's use um, flex boxes. So And since also Flexbox is implement the group trait, we have to end them. And let's create another one as well. So we don't see anything. The idea is that to be able to see the tabs is that there has to be a distance between the Y origin of the tab, tabs widget, and the children of the tabs. So in this case, the false fill will give us a tabs widget with a width of 400 and 300. So to be able to see the children, we can use new here, and the X will be the same, the Y, let's give it 30. The width 400 and the height will be 300 minus 60. And let's not give it a title. And here we'll use the same word in its. <coughs> now we can see our tabs. To be able to see the text and the tabs, we actually give the children a name. So, for example, tab 1. Tab, oops, tab two. So now you see the, uh, the the labels on the tabs. You can also change the position of the tabs to be on the bottom. So. We get the y zero. Then here, just move thirty. And you can see that the tabs are on the bottom now. <coughs> FLTK RS also um, offers a convenience method called tabs auto layout. And we can use this here, so tabs, auto, layout. And this will give us the tabs on the top. 
course you'll have to do with label but not this one and you can change the alignment of the tabs tab align and we'll say for example enums line right enums align side and you can see this is right aligned Another thing I wanted to show you is the um, overflowing tabs. We'll keep the closable tabs to the end. So let's create some more tabs here. And let's reduce the width to be 200, for example. So tab 3, tab 4. <coughs> You can see the tabs will be um, crowded here if we all even decrease this to 150. You can see that the visual effect isn't that great. Remove the alignment and just use tabs handle overflow. Tabs overflow we can use pull down and we get a pull down which will show us the tabs that we need <coughs> the last thing is uh, the uh, closable tabs to be, to be able to get closable tabs remove this 100 You actually only need to set the trigger on the children to be uh, closed. So, for example, tab one, set trigger, enums, callback trigger, closed. Similarly, for tab two, So we have tab 1, this doesn't do anything since we don't handle it, we will need to handle it. Tab 3 we don't have it, we'll just add it here, just rename this as tab 3. And to be able to handle it, we'll add a callback, so for example, Let's add a callback function here. So fn um, tab close callback, and we can just pass it the flex, for example, since we're using flex boxes. And we can check the type of callback. Callback reason equals enums callback reason closed. And here we can get the parent of the tabs, which will be this tabs widget. So we didn't pass this yet, just pass it here.
And we can see now that actually pressing, pressing the X will remove the tabs. Uh, this is a bit slow because of OBS. Just a moment. Let's say um, you wanted to use several types of uh, group widgets as children of your tabs widget. And you need to share the callback between them. So instead of creating tab close callback for, for example, flex and tab close callback for group, you can just use impl group ext. So that's my cat. And this will still work. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, be uploading more videos soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.